Hello, good evening. Hi, Azucena. Hi, Miss. How are you? Uh, I, I'm happy. Thank right. you. I'm happy too. A little bit sick. Un poco enferma. Ahora me tocó la segunda dosis de la vacuna, right? So I'm like... ¿Y de, de cuál le pusieron? La Pfizer. Pfizer. Sí. ¿Y usted ya se vacunó? Sí, ya. Las dos dosis. De hecho, también igual hace poco tuve la segunda y me tocó Pfizer. La primera, el primer día sí me sentí fatal. La, los primeros días. Pero luego para la segunda dosis nada más dolor de brazo. Ajá, exacto. Sí, así siento yo que ya, ya ni existe ese brazo. All right. Thank you, Susana. Ya me asustó. No, fíjese que la primera vez no tuve ningún síntoma. Yo feliz de la vida, niña. Nada. Pero ya hoy, a ver qué tal. Supuestamente si no me dan las primeras tres horas, me dijeron, ya no tendría que darte ningún síntoma. Pero a ver qué tal. Así dice. Así dice, ni yo muerto mañana. <risa> <risa> qué drama. Ok, welcome back, Susana. Hi, Fabi. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Thank you so much for asking. All right, everybody, let's get started with the content. Today we have quite a lot of content, heavy content in certain parts, right? But it's pretty good that you understand this type of content because with the time you have to learn how to use it and you have to learn how to put it into practice, all right? So it's pretty amazing, this content. Broccoli is good for you. Nah. <laughs> okay, we are in class number 10. We are going to have a short review about what we saw yesterday's class, and then we'll be moving on. So let's go. Let's see, do you remember? We have two, only two questions. Simple and basic questions, right? Mention at least five vocabulary words from the foot pyramid, right? Recuerdan la foot pyramid that from yesterday's class? Let's see, Fabiola, tell me five vocabulary words that you remember. Del vocabulario de las frutas? <laughs> exactly. Bueno, la pyramid en sí. Ah, the pyramid. O sea, la, la pyramid. Um, a mí lo que más me gusta son las frutas, entonces como que se me quedan más uh, la fresita, de strawberry. Están las frutas. Um, apples, sí. Apples, um, orange. Me da risa porque es el color y es la fruta también. Um, it's true, it's true. Y esto, ah, noodles. Ajá, oranges, noodles. ¿Y cuál es la otra? Orange, noodles, eh, strawberries, grapes. All right, there you go. Potato. <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny, as you mentioned, because if you think about it, a strawberry is not a color, right? It's a strawberry. <laughs> That's the fruit. <laughs> no hay color fresita. No, pero a mí me da risa con la naranja, porque es bien similar al color. It's true. It's true. Excellent. Thank you, Fabi. That's correct. What about, ah, oh, no, but Fabi, you only told me three. I need five. Well, no, you said grapes, right? You also mentioned grapes and strawberries. Yeah, you're good, Fabi. You can go. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's see Azucena, number two. Tell me one sentence using the vocabulary learned. Azucena, no sé si sí, estoy mal, pero creo que ayer no pudo quedarse toda la jornada de clase, right? Eh, sí, mi una disculpa, es que se me cayó la señal de internet, puso claro, y si piensan contratar, no se los recomiendo, y realmente no, no, no encontraba solución, entonces, eh, con lo, y en, el, en ese momento no tenía datos, entonces, fue así como que, Quizá faltando 10 minutos para la clase recuperé señal, pero <ríe> me dio pena entrar. Pero eh, medio vi un poco de la clase eh, y no sé si, si sería lo correcto, pero mencionar como lo que me gusta. I like, eh, uh, uh, así como lo que me gusta y lo que no me gusta. 
There you go. That's correct. Apo si. Bye. Bye. Entonces, a mí, I like eh, the fruit, eh, orange, and... No está en la, en la lista, pero también me gustan las mandarinas y olvidé cómo se dice en inglés. Ay, I forgot it too. Mandarin? Yeah, it's mandarin. Mandarin. Okay, uh, I like orange and mandarin, but uh, but I don't like uh, onion. Onions, yeah. <laughs> You're right. We're not Shrek. No somos Shrek, por eso no nos gustan. <laughs> Excelente, Azucena. There you go. Thank you so much. Now, let me move on with Lourdes. Okay, Lourdes, tell me five vocabulary words using the food pyramid. Strawberry, nuts, vegetables, mm -hmm. oil, butter. Falta una. <laughs> Only one. Um, pasta. Pasta. There you go. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Excellent. No, that's very good. Let's see. Let's go with Laura Pamela. Hi, Laurita. Welcome back. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm pretty good. Almost dying, but good. <laughs> All right. How about you? How are you, Laura? Um, I'm fine, teacher. Excellent, very really good. Okay, Laurita, me va a ayudar aquí. Tell me one sentence using the vocabulary learned. ¿Se recuerda la food pyramid? Right? La pyramid. Yes, yes. Food pyramid, okay? Entonces, utilizando ese vocabulary, dígame una sentence. And una. Yes. Mm, una oración, ¿verdad? Um, I don't like, I don't like carrots. You don't like carrots. I, uh, right? Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. Very good, Laura. That's correct. I don't like carrots. That's surprisingly, <laughs> right? Very good. Thank you, Laurita. Let's go with Sandrita. Hi, Sandrita. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> I love that mood. Me encanta escuchar Hi. que te llaman así. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Let's see, Sandrita. Sí, porque si, no, si somos así todos flat, nos vamos a dormir. <laughs> okay, let's see, Sandrita. Tell me five vocabulary words from the food pyramid. ¿Se acuerda de esta pirámide? Right? Yes. Um, I don't like so much pasta. Mm -hmm. Right? I don't like so much pasta. Excellent. You give me the sentence. That's correct. Thank you, Sandy. Let me check. Adriana. Okay, Adriana, tell me five vocabulary words related to the food pyramid. Cuando les pongo cinco palabras del vocabulario, eh, solo me va a decir las cinco palabritas. Okay, Adriana? Las que usted recuerde de la pirámide. Mm, bye. Um, tomato, potato, broccoli, um, oil, this um, cereal, cereal, uh -huh. um, yogurt, yogurt, there you go. Let's see, what else? Broccoli. Ah, broccoli. Okay. Excellent, Adriana. There you go. Good that you remember. Okay. Excellent. All right, everybody. Excellent. With this, we can pass to the next one. All right. Let's check. For today's class, we have new content. We're going to take it easy over here because it could be a little bit difficult trying to understand it since the beginning. All right. We're going to work it. Okay, let me just give this review. Some of you are going to tell me this vocabulary. 
I want to check how are you doing with the pronunciation because if we have any mistake, we can fix that, all right? So let's see, Fabiola, tell me eh, 10 vocabulary words from there. Dígame tres, no, diez palabras de aquí, right? Las puede mezclar. Uh, cualquiera. Mm -hmm. exactly. um, cream, fish, cheese, bananas, bread. ¿Cuántas le dije? No, no sé like si me faltó. Mm, rice. Okay, excellent. There you go. Thank you, Fabiola. Let's see, Fabiola. Um, do you like potatoes? No, I don't like. Okay, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Very good, Fabi. Let's see, Laura Pamela. Laura, tell me five vocabulary words from the pyramid. Um, chicken. Let let. Lettuce, lettuce, um, lettuce, um, bread, orange, oil, cheese, eggs. And let me ask you, Laurita, do you like eggs? Um, sí, yes. Excellent, really good. Yes, I like eggs. Let's see, Azucena, tell me another five vocabulary words. Ok, hey, Miss, voy a decir cositas que me gusten. Ajá, uh, exactly. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yogurt, yogurt, creo que se pronuncia. Uh, yogurt, eh, se pronuncia. Y, um, orange, lettuce, uh -huh, lettuce, lettuce, uh, sugar, por ahí el chip. Sí, uh, candy, candy. <laughs> Lo siento. Don't worry, no se preocupe. Let's see. Los potato chips, uh, mm -hmm. butter, mm, el chicken, mm -hmm. eh, eggs. Casi todo lo de ahí me gusta. <laughs> yeah, I see that you like it very much, everything. <laughs> so, what's your favorite from all of this? What are your favorites? Or which are your favorites? ¿Cuáles son sus favoritos? Which are your favorites? Mm, my favorite? Mm. limite. No, you can tell me all of them if you want. And mejor digo lo que no me gusta de ahí. Okay, which are not your favorites? I, I, I don't like nuts. Noodles? Nuts, eh, nuts. Eh, semillas. Eh, ah, nuts. Nuts, nuts. Okay, nuts. Um, cream. And only. Only, only. those. <laughs> yeah, that was easy peasy for you, right? Eso fue bien facilito para usted. All right, excellent. Thank you. What about you, Jaime? Uh, let me ask you from this food. Which are your favorites? Well, my favorites are some fruits. For example, orange, mangoes, and green apples. All right, excellent, very good. And which ones you don't like? What I don't like are uh, candies. Um, let me see. Uh, yogurt, uh, crackers. Ah, crackers. Uh huh. You don't like crackers. I don't like crackers and nuts. Nuts. All right. Excellent. Nuts, nuts. Very good. I'm surprised. Uh -huh, exactly. How come that you don't like candies? ¿Cómo es posible que no le gusten los I don't candies? like. I don't like sweet food. Ah, all right. I got you. I got I you. Prefer, I prefer salad food. Salty. Uh, salad. Salty. Sal How do you say salad? Salado. Sí, yes. Salty. Sa oh, okay. I, I prefer salty food. Very good. 
Very good, excellent. I used to believe that, but then I liked eh, caramels. <laughs> All right, excellent, Jaime, very good. Eso es lo que quiero, que ustedes vayan ya expresando más cosas, right? No solo se queden con el vocabulary. Thank you, Jaime. Let's go with, let me see, Sandrita. From this pyramid, which are your favorites? Which ones do you like? Okay. I like uh, milk, yogurt, uh, fish, um, candy, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and banana, All right. uh, apples, apples. Okay. And, and which ones you don't like? I I don't I don't like uh, so much pasta, but I um, sometimes uh, sometimes eating. Alguna vez la como. Sometimes I eat pasta. I eat pasta. Yes. Um, I don't like um, broccoli. <laughs> you don't like broccoli. No, no, no so much. Uh -huh. and that's all. That's all. Excellent. Very good, Sandrita. Excellent. You're doing good. <laughs> As is in, she's starving. She's hungry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Excellent. I like that, everybody. Let me check. Let me see the last person. Um, Lourdes. So talk to me, Lourdes. What things are your favorites and which ones are not your favorites? My favorite food is strawberries. I love strawberries and nuts. Mm -hmm. I like them. I like broccoli carrots, tomato, really everything I like. <laughs> everything that is healthy. Yo yeah. veo que todo lo saludable. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And which no tengo nada you... que no me gusta. Realmente ah. estoy viendo la pirámide y todo me gusta. <laughs> okay, there you go. Very good. Excellent notice. All right, everybody. That was the purpose of this activity. For you to get fluent where you're speaking, while you are relaxed, right? Because this is not evaluated, but you are talking and that's what I need from you. I need you to hear yourself talking, all right? And that's great, excellent, I'm proud of you. All right, everybody, let's see, what do we have next? Let's check this over here. Let's see, <laughs> conversation, how about some sandwiches, all right? Let me share with you a video. Voy a presentarles el video de la platform, okay? Y vamos a chequear la pronunciation of this conversation, okay? Listen carefully the pronunciation of the conversation. Don't take notes, don't copy anything right now. Solo quiero que se enfoquen en la pronunciation, okay? Vamos a ir pausando el video donde sea necesario. Huh. Let's see. And here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of... Okay, before moving on to this part, let's go back to the PPT. And I will repeat the conversation, all right? 
I will repeat the conversation, listen carefully to the pronunciation, and then it will be your turn. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. All right, now it's your turn. Let's check how are we doing with that pronunciation. Let me see, Ronnie, you are Adam and Fabiola Cruz, you are Amanda. Action. You hear me? You are Adam. Yeah. Yes, I hear you. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Um, we don't have any cheese. Do we have any cream? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. Um, let's buy some potato salad. Salad. Uh, sure, everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, very really good. Thank you, guys. All right, we're doing good so far. Now, let's work with somebody else. Remember, everybody, this is your last class from the week. So I know you're tired, right? Because I know you work all day. But let's try to push ourselves, all right? This is the last day. So let's give our 100%, okay? Let's get into the mood of the conversation. Let me have Jaime. You are Adam and Amanda. You are, no, and Sandrita, you are Amanda. Action. Okay. Good. What do you like? What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No. We need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. You get into the mood. Good pronunciation. Excellent. Let's go with Azucena. You are Adam and Laura Pamela. You are Amanda. Action. Hello, Azucena, are you there? Yes, lo siento, eh, es el internet, no soy yo. Okay, excelente, Azucena, don't um, worry. Soy Amanda. No, you are Adam and your ah, okay, friend okay. is going to be Amanda. And ahorita is going yeah. to be Amanda. Ah, ah. Entonces yo soy Adam. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, uh, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. That's correct, excellent, very good. Thank you, girls. Let's go with Adriana Guerra. You are Adam and Lourdes, you are Amanda, action. What do you want for the picnic? 
Mm, how about some sandwich? Sandwiches? Okay, we have some kitchen engine refrigerator, um, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drink? ¿Cómo se dice el tisho? Drink or drink? Drinks. Drinks. Mm -hmm. No, we need some. Hard right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. So everyone likes potato salad. Excellent, that's correct. Thank you girls, very good job. All right, let me go with the following. Uh, Miguel Morales, you are Adam, and let me look for you and Amanda, let me check. Let's see, Laura, you are Amanda, action. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Every young likes potato salad. That's correct. Thank you, guys. Miguel, repeat after me. Everyone. Everyone. Mm -hmm. That's correct. There you go. All right, everybody and everyone. <laughs> Let's check this one. Thank you so much for your participation with the conversation. All right. It was excellent. I know you are pushing yourself and that's worth it. Let's see, in the video, you are going to hear about countable nouns and non-countable nouns, all right? Let me explain you first, what are nouns? You're right, Jaime, I will do it. <laughs> I hear one of my students today who told me that and I was thinking about it, excellent. Thanks for the reminder. All right, let's move on with this one. What are nouns? A noun equals, equals a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns, all right? Many things. And if we have a cup, this is a noun. If we have a bottle, this is a noun, all right? Um, if we have a computer, that's a noun, okay? We have many, many nouns. You can find nouns everywhere, right? Everywhere. A wall, that's a noun, right? So you just have to think about this information and you will understand when are you going to use non-countable nouns and countable nouns. Now, let me have, and let's see. Ronnie, can you please read this information? A noun equals. What are a noun? A noun equals a person, place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see are you are noun. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Ronnie. Let's see, Jaime. Can you repeat the information again? Hi, May, are you there? Excuse me, I was talking with a, a mute. Ah, okay, don't worry. I, I don't know. Uh, what are nouns? A noun, a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. That's correct, thank you, all right? Los estoy haciendo leer esto, no porque se estén equivocando, ningún mistake, right? Sino porque quiero que se nos quede. Y entre más lo leamos, 
más fácil se nos queda. Let's see, uh, let me have, Azucena, your turn. Tell me again, what are nouns? Okay, miss. A noun. Uh, uh, learn is information, okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, a noun. Tengo que decir los símbolos también. Yes. Usted ya los aprendió conmigo en level one. <laughs> Olvide que vos dice igual. Equals. Igual. 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 Okay. A noun equals a person, comma, a place or a thing. Mm, point. Yes. In, in other words, comma, many things that you see around you are nouns. Point. Final point, right? Excellent. Very good. Final point. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Azucena. And let me share with Lourdes. Can you please read it again, once again? And this is the last one. Okay. A noun equal a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. That's correct. Thank you, girl. Now let's keep this information in mind, all right? Let's keep this information in mind. Let's go back to the video. Nos vamos de nuevo al video. And let's pay attention, all right? No les voy a pedir que copien algo eh, del video. Solo pongan atención porque la demás información yo la tengo aquí, okay? Pero sí quiero que escuchen the information that the teacher is providing. Here we go. Count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart, you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread, lemonade. Specific, I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some, 
when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions displayed, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, that's what I was talking about. I want you to watch this video because you have to learn today how to create those examples, all right? Keep into consideration that he mentions that we can use any in questions, right? But when you are answering, you cannot say, yes, I need any X. No, because any is negative. So when you are answering a question, you can use it if it is negative. But in questions, you can use it as well and there is no problem, all right? Let's practice the pronunciation with this. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. The use of some and any sometimes vary, all right? Algunas veces varía el uso de esto, right? Uh, he mentioned that we are not able to use um, some with liquids, all right? But sometimes you are able to use it according to the measurements that you have. So let's see, here we go. Listen my pronunciation, then I will ask you to pronounce after me. Do we need any X? Yes, let's get some X. No, we don't need any X. We are counting the X, right? We can talk about 10, 15, 20 X, whatever or how many you want. Do we need any bread? Of course, the bread, you cannot count the bread unless it's on slides, right? Si el pan está rodajeado, ahí sí lo podemos contar, right? Es como la pizza. We can say two slides of pizza, right? But if the bread is completely, you cannot count it, all right? So we say, do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Then you have count nouns, which we have an egg equals X, right? A sandwich, we can have sandwiches. Non-count nouns, right? Bread and lemonade. Let's practice with this information. Let me see. I'm going to have Fabiola. Fabiola, do you ask? You are going to ask and Laura Pamela, you answer. Usted pregunta, Fabiola, y Laura contesta. Action. Okay. Do you? No, pero. Espérame, le voy a hacer zoom que no me. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct. Thank you, girls. Let's go with the following pair. Let me have Ronnie Avalos, you ask, and Azucena, you answer. Action. Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need, do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Before moving on to another pair, let me explain you this. 
in this type of questions, you can ask, do we need some eggs? Do we need any eggs? The same with non-countable nouns. You can say, do we need some bread? Okay, do we need any bread? And you are good with that. That's why right now we are only using some and any because those are the most basic ones, all right? So let's follow this up with Lourdes, you ask, and Jaime, you answer. Action. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct, excellent, thank you guys. And let me go with the last pair. Miguel Morales, you ask, and Sandrita, you answer. Action. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any get any eggs. Do we do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Now let's move on to count nouns. We have an egg, and then you have eggs. A sandwich, sandwiches. Non count nouns. And we have bread and lemonade, all right? We are talking about liquids. Cuando hablamos de cosas que no se pueden contar, estamos hablando de liquids, right? Es como butter. La mantequilla tampoco se puede contar, right? A no ser que vayan medidas específicas, right? Si ustedes se fijan, si han visto algún video eh, de cocina or something like that in English, they say, let's add some butter. Let's add some sugar. Let's add some salt. All right, so because they have the measurements, right? Si tenemos las medidas, measurements, you can uh, count basically, all right? But most of the time you don't, all right? You don't, you're not able to. So let me check the pronunciation of this count, uh, count nouns and non-count nouns. Let me see. Azucena, can you please tell me the eh, vocabulary? Eh, ¿Cuál? Lo escuché cortado, lo siento, Miss. I'm sorry, don't worry. Here we go. This one, count nouns and non-count nouns. Okay. Eh, count nouns. And F. X. A sandwich, sandwiches, mm -hmm. non count nouns, bread, lemonade. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's keep in mind, everybody, we are going really slowly over here because I want you to understand this. If you say a sandwich, you are talking about one, right? If you say uh, an egg, you are talking about one, specifically, right? Just one. Keep into consideration what I told you before about articles. The word that is going to follow the article, it cannot start with a vowel. If you have a, you cannot start the word with um, any vowel, right? But if you have an, you are able to start the following word with any vowel. Cuando hablo de vowels, me refiero a las vocales, right? Lo que les mencionaba en las clases atrás. Si tenemos an, el artículo an, la palabra que le sigue no puede comenzar con vocal, right? Específicamente con las vocales. Pero cuando tenemos a, podemos comenzar con cualquier palabra del abecedario, con cualquier letra del abecedario, right? No vocales, porque si no, they don't match, okay? Let's keep into consideration that again. Let's go with Fabiola. Fabiola, tell me the vocabulary, count nouns and non-count nouns. Um, que lo lea. Exactly. 
So <laughs> account notes and eight, no, eight, eight. And sandwich, sandwich, no, sandwiches. Mm -hmm. mm, non count, notes, bread, y limonada, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Lemonade. Lemonade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Very good, thank you. Uh, inside of the non-count nouns, we have lemonade, we have <clears throat> soda, we have tea, we have milk, all right? Things that we are not able to count, right? Let's continue with a specific. Jaime, can you please help me with a specific in general? Okay, specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General, eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. Excellent, there you go, thank you. All right, if you notice, we don't say breads, right? Porque no es contable, we are not able to say breads. Entonces aquí, el verb to be que voy a utilizar tiene que ser el is, so puedo poner are, right? Bread are good for you, no. Bread is good for you, and that's it. Let's go with Adriana Guerra, please. Tell me the information again about a specific in general. Me lee lo de specific y lo de general. A specific in and health. Let's get some bread. General, aids are good for you. Brit is good for you. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Repeat after me, Adriana. I'm, I'm eating. Eating. Mm -hmm. Eating. I'm right. eating. Eating. Uh -huh, exactly. Estoy comiendo, right? I'm eating. This is verb to be con el progressive. All right. Thank you, Adriana. Excellent. All right, everybody. With this, we know the pronunciation. We know about what we're talking about when we say count nouns and non-count nouns. So let's get into the business. Let's see. Guiding examples, right? Recuerdan la pirámide con la que estuvieron practicando al inicio, right? Esto les va a ayudar la pirámide, okay? I need some apples. <clears throat> I don't need any bread, okay? Those are my examples, pretty basics, I know, but they are useful. Let's see what's following. Practice time. And let me see, Lourdes, can you read the instructions? Practice time, one, work individually, two, create at least two sentences using count and non-count, non Count nouns, mm -hmm. three share your sentences with the class. Excellent, thank you, there you go. All right, everybody, solo van a crear dos oraciones, all right? Una con count nouns, como apples, oranges, or strawberries, all right? Y una con non-count nouns, que ya hablamos que puede ser soda, tea, bread, sugar, all right? Let's work on that, please. If you have questions, you can ask me, okay? Teacher. Yes. How many how many sentences? Only two. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Very good. Una con los nouns que son contables y una con los nouns que no son contables.
keep into consideration that you have to use some or any, okay? Easy. We all need some dollars. <laughs> all right. Sure. I need some units for the yes. Mm -hmm. And I need it in. Ah, okay. Let's check this one. For example, uh, your sentences are correct in Jaime and also your sentences. Okay, but when you say I need any butter for the crackers, necesita el negative. Recuerden que con el any es específicamente para negativo cuando estamos respondiendo la pregunta. Si bien es cierto, podemos preguntar con any, right? Pero en la respuesta ya tiene que ser negativa. Entonces agregamos el don't. Okay. Let me know when you're finished, guys, so that we can start sharing. Así empezamos a compartir. Okay. Ah, uh -huh, there you go. I don't need salt on my food. Mm -hmm. You can say I don't need any salt on my food in my food. Uh -huh. There you go. Thank you, Azucena. Okay, somebody else who has finished. Alguien más que haya terminado y quiera compartir sus sentences. Finish, miss. Uh, let me see. Ah, okay. Tell me, Jose. Okay. Good night. Uh, Good sentence number one. I need to buy in the supermarket some lemons. Mm -hmm. And number two, um, don't, I don't need to buy in the supermarket and your bread. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. And let's see somebody else. I miss. Excellent. Tell me. Uh, I need some lemon for the juice. Mm -hmm. And I don't need any salt in my food. Excellent. There you go. Very good. I don't like salt. You don't like salt. <laughs> uh, tenemos los dos extremos aquí. A uno le gustan las cosas, eh, a uno le gustan las cosas dulces y al otro no le gusta nada dulce. Right? Y a ti no te gusta nada salado. And the other one loves salty food. All right, excellent. Let me go with the following. What about you, Ronnie? Do you have your sentences? Or your sentence? No, sentences, because you need to. Uh. I need some very shake. Yeah. <laughs> Repeat again. I need some strawberry ah. and my shake. <laughs> yeah. See, we see. I don't need any. I forgot. <laughs> I don't need. Uh -huh. I don't need any wing my bread, yeah. Ah, uh, I don't you don't need any bread. Yeah. Ah, okay. No, That's I, correct. no I don't need any cream. Esa palabra, a ver, repítela de nuevo. Cream. Green. No, ah, cream. cream. There you mm. go. <laughs> yes, Ronnie. <laughs> Excellent. Disculpe, Ronnie, okay? Disculpe, me falla. No, no, no. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Ronnie. That's correct. On my breath. Now, 
Let's go to somebody else. What about Fabiola? Let's see, Fabiola. Mm, mire, no sé si estará bien, pero bueno, entendí. <laughs> en una puse, I need some milk and yogurt. Y en otra, I don't need meat for 80. Mm -hmm. Ok, those are good. Porque es que con lo de carnes me quedé como pensando, pero ese sí se puede ocupar como en, en plural. Sí, ¿verdad? Meats. Oh, si sí, son diferentes tipos de carne, sí, meats, right? Pero si está hablando de una sola, no. No, en general, o sea, tipo, las carnes en general, mm -hmm. sí se puede. Yeah, you can say meats. Ah, ok, no, pues así está. Okay, there you go, very good. Somebody else, I don't need any milk in my cereal. Jesus, Azucena, how can you eat that? <laughs> ok, what about you, Miguel? Do you have your sentences? I need some mangoes. Uh -huh. you need some I milk. don't need milk. Mm -hmm. There you go. I don't need any milk. Any milk, okay. Excellent, there you go, very good. What about, let me see. Laura Pamela. Okay, miss. I need some green grapes. I don't need any rice. Okay, there you go. Very good with rice because we are not able to count rice. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, okay, I got you. I'm sorry. Let's see. Um, Sandrita, usted ya pasó o no? No, teacher. Okay, tell me. Okay. Um, I like I like to eat banana with papaya every morning. It's correct. It's correct uh, uh, to say in uh, sentence. Yes, you can say I like eating papaya and bananas every morning. Pero no me está utilizando el some o el any. No, no. Pero puede agregarlo. No está difícil. Let's see. I like eating no. some. Ah, huh? no quiere. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, yes. <laughs> no quiere, pues no. Le no, no. Yes, 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 yes. O sea, no, que no lo estoy agregando. Quise decir. Ah, okay. Excellent. There you go. So, uh, let's see. I'm eating. No. Repita su sentence, please. I like. I like uh, to. To eat okay. banana with papaya every morning. All right, there you go. Como estamos utilizando every morning, ahí esa, esa frase es para el present continuous, all right? Entonces, aquí es donde le digo que puede agregar el some. I like eating some bananas and papaya every morning. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. right. There you okay. go. Excellent, Sandrita. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. It's your time to go to bed. It has been a pleasure to see you and I will see you on Monday. Please get into your class on Monday. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Yeah, thank Welcome. You, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, Marachito. Bye, Marachito. Thank you, Miss. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Bye, compañeros. Good night. Bye. Good night. Los veo la siguiente semana.